Okay, this is 7410 Ray. We're doing cut shells today. And, I mean, uh, wax lugs, not cut shells. Uh, I don't want to do cut shells. Did some before. Did them out of brass. With uh, the little extra pressure, caused the bulge in the brass. So my buddy had some made, and he had those out of metal. Now what you do, grab yourself a knife, sharp utility knife, and you're gonna make a bungholio dime and what you're going to take off is just this roll right here hold it in your hand cut it at a slight angle and twist the shell don't move the don't move the blade just twist the shell you're going to go all the, almost all the way around twist the shell and sometimes you can go around then what you do is you pull off the bungholio dime and why is it called the bungholio dime because it looks like a bungholio and it's about the size of a dime. Do not go past the shot cup. When you fill these up, you heat up some wax, standard candle wax. This one's called golf wax. You're going to reach inside, grab yourself some shot, and this has already been pre melted. And you're only going to fill it up to the top of the shot cup. You're not going to go any further than that. And how much is that? Inside here, you will see a shot cup. Do not fill it past the shot cup. If anything, maybe go a little bit under. Like about that right there. Then after you fill it up with that, pour a little bit of liquid in there. And you want it basically... You don't want it overflowing. As you can see, it's not quite to the top there. If you can see that right there. We'll do one more. And I got some mixed, uh, I got some bigger pellets in here. And I got some bird shot and I got some buck shot because I just had a whole bunch of stuff from previous reloading. And then I have this really super high tech uh, uh, spooning device. Basically, all I did is I took a spoon and I bent it with a pair of pliers, and that way, I can, when I get a hold of the shot, it comes out really nice and easy. Reach in there, drizzle it in, grab a little extra liquid, put a little extra in there, up to the shot cup, but do not go past it. Then I just set them out to dry. And that's all there is to it. Typical soup can. Put some wax in it. Put your bird shot. One more time. Grab this. And this actually can go pretty fast. You get pretty good at it after a while. You can uh, actually make bungholio dimes really super quick. And then you grab your wax slug and pour your shot in there. Make sure you don't go past the top of the shot cup. Make sure you have a little bit of tiny liquid in there. When you start putting the liquid in there, you'll see it. It will uh, form a little cavity at the top. And actually, that's it right there. Okay, 7410 Ray saying, God bless America. Long live the Republic. Remember, guys, freedom ain't free. Hey, yeah. Uh, if you like what you see, um, click the like. And if you like the channel, if you see some things on here that you're kind of interested in or something you learned, leave a comment at the bottom if you have any questions. Oh, disclaimer. This is not a standard shell. So you may have a little bit higher pressures. So consult a professional, because I am not a professional, about whether you should even use this. If you have any questions, just buy the slugs. Okay? All right, and uh, on mine, I didn't. I'm not going to use brass because they got stuck. Okay, 7410 Ray. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Remember, guys, freedom ain't free.